Hello, everyone, and welcome back to uh, another redo or uh, generations uh, commentary, whichever you want to call it. Uh, today, we're doing Kung Fury, a very short one and a very um, wild one, to say mm. the least. As I mentioned in the intro of our the first time we did this, we did this a very long time ago. I honestly don't think how long it was. This movie was released also kind of around that time. This was essentially kind of a Kickstarter kind of project of a love letter for the 80s. So we kind of took the occasion, especially because the movie was available on YouTube back then. It still is, again, link in the description. But it was our kind of a rough project. And we it was only, I think it's just me, Shira, and Jova. So come on, let's, uh, let's have the others have fun now. Hmm. And oh I'm boy, dizzy. was this movie right. fun. If, you know, this was back when Kickstarters were really starting to make their mark here and there. Some in great results, like, say, Shovel Knight or Shantae After Any Hero, and others like uh, Mighty Number no. 9, The Phoenix Quest, which uh, weren't so hot. So where does this lie, you may be wondering? It's flipping awesome. Alright then, in that case, without further ado, Shiroi, shall we? Alright, if everybody's ready, uh... Again, this is on YouTube, so just start right at zero in three, two, one, click. Laser, Laser unicorns. unicorns. Ah, yeah, the VCR era. Or is this beta? Do these unicorns oh, live in Do these unicorns live in books uh, written in, in fairy tales written by rabbits? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, hey! this, this sets the tone, basically. <laughs> this is Kung Fury, everyone. Again, this is a fashion project from the director and, and writer David Sandberg. So what was the idea behind this movie, Tio? Again, a love letter to the 80s of, of, of all kinds. So all the neons, the arcades, the, the weird fighting, stuff like Karate Kid, you know. But with a touch of modernity, like in this case, you need a CGI to have the arcade literally coming alive and killing people. Oh. So yeah, uh, this all comes yeah, to this us is... from Sweden. Yeah. This, oh man, it's the Bayformers uh, fitting, you know, with the cube turning machines into life. The all smirk. That's the thing. That was technically kind of... Uh... Actually, yeah, it may have been the bay first that started that, now that you mention it. Ow. That was so yeah, hurt. in the moment of need, the town needs a hero. <laughs> a hero in a Japanese-American apartment. With sexy saxophone. Ryu, how you doing? <laughs> If, Re if Ryu became as much of a weeb as yeah, Howard. The, the, much like, similar to, say, like a Kung Pao, in this case, the director and director, well, sorry, in this case, the, the person behind this major project also plays the protagonist. Oop. Yeah, I'm surprised he has card at Bob, the guy by 80s yes. Hollywood logic. Dwives. Oh no, it's not a... the puppy! Oh. Nothing, you're going down. That dog just looks so confused. Zero. <laughs> much like most animals. Try being on, in that uh, dog's uh, position and tell me you wouldn't be confused. <laughs> hey, the, the dog dog's survived okay. this. Yes. Hmm. Unfortunately, we're having some technical difficulties because I guess we, we could not animate the entire fight. For yeah. the record, the Kickstarter, I forgot how much it needed. Um, but it reached, uh, uh, the original target, all right, was to $200,000, and it grew, and it instead reached 630.019,000. Um, so it was actually, it was actually quite a while ago. It wanted to actually arrive, there you go. It wanted to actually arrive at the 1 million before the end of the guitar, story, but the guitar but it actually could not, unfortunately. You don't say. You know, like you do in Los Angeles in the 80s. Of hey, course. hey, hey, this takes place in the Streets of Rage universe. 
funny story. We actually made a Streets of Rage clone video game based on this. So. Nice. Was that the one that has a nostalgia critic in it? No, that's the AVGN Adventures uh, sequel. No, 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 no. There's actually a fighting game with nostalgia critic in it. I believe the same person did. Uh... Well, I mean, um, yeah, he got cut in half like a banana. <laughs> Remind me, Dej, what was that fighting game? I know. It. I I'll have to look it up. Also, now I get why YouTube uh, has age restricted this uh, because there is actually quite a it's a bit, bit more violence than I remember. Oh yeah. And yeah, so just like any typical, you know, non-Asian type, non-Chinese or non-Japanese you know, Japanese type of story about martial arts, the premise is just as, as ludicrous, and he just loves uh, the to revel in it. The name of the game is called Streets of Fury EX. Right. No, the, the one based on this, well, no. I, I, I guess it's based off it. No, the, okay, for the one for this one is called Kung Fury Streets Rage. Okay, then. Yeah, the one so not has... too different from yeah, just the words in a different order. Yeah. <laughs> knock knock, it's knock. <laughs> I can't help but wonder if that was the intent. What who's knocking? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Remember that it's the eighties. So we're gonna need to be this. So. <laughs> and that's where he got the bandana from. Yeah, a symbol of his revenge. But the best thing about it is that. Uh, this is basically Shang Chi's original, you know, origin story from the Silver to Bronze Age. <laughs> kind of. Oh, really? Okay, mm -hmm. not to the point where he was a cop or anything, but more of a more of a silly kind of taking this. And yes, he fights the Nazis. And yes, uh, and yes, his father is called Triceracop. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, there are dinosaurs in this. Uh huh. Man, I actually remember having radios that big back in the day. Did you also have um, Ninja Masters teleporting in front of you via lightning? Occasionally. You're a Those are some of the more expensive theory. models, though, that come with that feature. <laughs> Fifty million dollars? Yep. Jesus. Yep, you can tell that this is an 80s movie because the cop is being yelled at by his chief. Uh-huh. Again, you're a loose cannon, uh, Fury. You're out of line. Hand over your badge. And everyone's gonna sound like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't you see? This is all about the right. Let me see who plays the, the commissioner. I work alone, just like my soul is alone. Per Henrik Arvidius. Uh, and Triceracop instead is played by Eric Hornquist. But of course, uh, yeah, Kung Fury has a bit of this PTSD guy... due to having his partner killed. This guy looks like a younger Johnny Depp. Of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah, there is. Also, um, why is it when his old partner was sliced in half, like his tongue was still intact? Just like. Mortal Kombat logic. Okay. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Positive blood test for what? <laughs> oh, who is this sinister character? I wonder. I have no idea. Joseph Stalin! <laughs> uh, I saw him right through the phone. From the telephone. <laughs> what? And, uh, see, and you can see that this movie is a cartoon. Put in for <laughs> Again, it's a love letter, Dad, but it's also a parody. <laughs> oh no, that phone had a family! Yeah, it's like, uh, 
man, this is amazing. Man, go. man, 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 man uh, Dwebs, uh, Liu Kang really fell, and, uh, really fell down the moral And of uh, course, then, yeah. since, since it's the eighties, we have uh, the Hacker Man, someone who can magically infiltrate any code uh, with just the, the power of typing furiously on a keyboard. <laughs> The most powerful hacker in the world. <laughs> <laughs> He's played by Yorma Takone. I think we actually have seen this guy somewhere else. Uh -huh. Right. Uh, um, he played... Uh, he played... <laughs> He played one of the spider, the classic Spider Man into, sp into the Spider Verse. Huh. I mean, at least this makes more sense than the scientist of Gotham City in the future making twin clones of Hitler. What? Ow. Yeah, bad, bad uh, elsewhere comics. That you don't know, you don't know about Superman and Earth Ten. No. no. I'm surprised. That's like one of the iconic bad comics that almost everyone and their mother knows about. Just because it's ludicrous. So yeah, th that's basically the plot of the movie. Head of Hitler is traveling time, so I'm curious to stop him. Is this, is this stopped? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, or at least ADR, probably because it was also a thing from the 80s. What gave you I mean, the hint? Maybe the, uh, is it because yeah, all the actors are Swedish and they had to? Some some of them are can speak probably pro properly English, well, I'm so not quite it, sure. could, it could. I'm not quite sure if this is ADR or if it's just them speaking properly. What makes you ask? I don't know. So it kind of feels that way. The power, <gasps> the power glove, glove, of course. Uh, it's, it's so, so bad. bad. <laughs> <laughs> This song sounds like a remix of the Doom theme. Yay. We're also gonna get a cameo, actually, that, believe it or not. Uh, oh. I forgot if he's actually pro probably for a song for the credits. Uh. You know, I get the feeling this isn't how hacking works. <laughs> Dude, yeah. What, what are you talking about? That, this uh, is real life, damn e it. E equals MC. Cubes. You're about to hack time. You're about you to say? hack time. Are you sure? <laughs> you see, you see, you see, she, you see, she, 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 she never, she of course would never reveal it. But uh, all that stuff that you hear about Shiro with the keyboard, that's actually Shiro ha secretly hacking somebody. Damn. We. I played the fifth. Hey, uh, Shiro, uh, can you, can you hack the? Yeah. Planet. The, the the government, so none of us have to pay taxes. Ever. Also, Shiro, we're in Britain. We don't have the fifth. To see it with, Shiro is going to keep hacking into hacking all the government secrets. To, the government secrets that Shiro finds out about all the national uh -oh. and international corruption. She knows it's going on. In there, so. <laughs> Unfortunately, Confury has been hacking a bit too much. Uh, now time, that makes so. me wonder, what would a disc staff counterpart of Neil Breen be like? Ah, the movie's over. <laughs> I think we're okay. Not immediately, I think, but we're gonna get probably my favorite line in the entire movie. <laughs> of course, uh, again, since the eighties, so we need also the kind of fantasy the Paramount uh, logo, uh, kind of also, but also high, high time fa fantasy landscape, uh, kind of like a never ending story. I wonder and how. Since I wonder if they actually had a tiny drone or helicopter for these shots, given that yes, this was uh, a Yes, if I recall correctly, procedure. yes. Uh, I forgot actually where they actually filmed. I think probably in Swedish, Sweden, I think. Um, yeah, in Sweden, there you go. Oh! In order to replicate some effects on in Miami. Also some in Stockholm. Of, of course! They, I thought, you think Hitler died 40 years before this point? <laughs> it's only common sense, Dwebs. Oh. Yay! Of course. Red a bunky riding a giant wolf. Oh my god, it's Red Sonja! Yeah, With a Gatling gun. I don't know, dude, she's not wearing oh, red, so this now. would be Dark Sonja, maybe? 
Yeah. Oh, there you go. Barbariana. There you go. Huh. Oh, here we go. So where's the uh, the other woman hello. called Sordina? <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> mm -hmm. Let me see. Barbariana is played by Eleni Young. Uh, and of course, she has no katana on her. <laughs> she uh, Katana is played by Helena Halson, but she's actually voiced for the English dub in by Yasmina Sh Suhonen. So here we Oops. are riding a Enter cyborg this. T Rex. And I thought this was dubbed. Well, partially at the very least. Oops, there you go. Uh, Liu Kang with a, bar with a Viking woman riding a cyborg T Rex. Your argument is it, is just a, the, the move. There you go. That's finally the movie that you've always wanted. Yeah, exactly. If they make a sequel to the 2021 Mortal Kombat, that should be in it. Uh -huh. I just love. I also love how there's no real, you know, question or anything. She, everyone just buys everything. <laughs> I mean, th these are dinosaurs that fire lasers. I think you know everything else is fair game. And what? Thor, the, yeah, the god Thor, paid by Andreas Kaling, uh, apparently a professional bodybuilder. With the totally not the Terminator theme. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at him. I need to start going to the gym. Dad, are you starting to feel inadequate or something? Yes. Props to the artist, he that. Gee, so do I. Ha. <laughs> 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 you needed free blasts of the hammer to open a portal? Thanks, Thor. <laughs> I do need free blasts to open the portal. I guess it's protocol. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm sure it will be useful. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, those calls, very long distance, gonna cost you a lot of money. Of course, <laughs> since the 80s, it, it includes a computer placement. <laughs> What's with this Microsoft Word? Why are you telling me this? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Buy our products, Weaves. The dog is very confused. How do, how do you plug it in? <laughs> they have magic. I'm sure they can figure something out. So that's each other. <laughs> right, I got created right into the Reichstag. I guess we uh, we some... jump from laser shooting dinosaurs to Nazi Germany. Of course. I'll say Dibs, these deleted scenes from Downfall are quite interesting. Yeah, I know, right? Who, 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 because that was one thing Downfall was missing sitcom comedy. Yeah, don't you see how Honey I'm Home was oh. actually a good idea? Oh my god. Oh. I, uh, <laughs> I uh, keep forgetting that that show or pilot at least existed. Brought to you by Britain, Shiroi. Okay, yeah, um, okay, well, actually, actually, yeah, to be fair, yeah, Hitler was, um, what, one thing that Hitler used to his advantage to get a lot of the German people on, on his side was his charisma and his, um, ability to flail his arms about and that. Mm-hmm. 
public speaking uh, and all that. Ah, just um. <laughs> What? Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah, you see, he's all about a helicopter. It's like Raven. <laughs> you know, right. I mean, it, it looks like they're more preoccupied fighting each other. Okay, driver, this be more this particular thing, the idea of the one take fight uh, is it's been the thing that is being not parried but homaged uh, instead. From old the 2003 version of Old Boy, where they managed to, you know, make that super effective. Um, so it's more of less of an 80s, more like flexing when it comes to, you know, that kind of directing. Imagine a movie that's all done in completely one take. Oh, uh, there was one that was advertised for that, but it, it was just bad. Oh. Forgot the title. There's actually a movie that's tried to do something with, you know, yes, no. Uh, with just one take, yes. That's I feel like that's very difficult to do. Uh, are, are you talking about Birdman? No, 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 no. And not even, um, God, I forgot. Not even that war movie. It's a, it's like a samurai, of course. It's like a samurai movie. I forgot the title. Because I've heard that Birdman was actually good. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, why do you think Michael also, King was cast also that, also that war movie that I also mentioned. Also, what's on this floor? <laughs> uh... Something that prevents friction. Hmm. Huh. Uh, fatality. So, sure. um, Hit was voiced or played by Yorma Christopher Tacone. He's yeah, American. <laughs> Ow. At least he got the shape, I guess. <laughs> Oh. Cheater. Has he got a Matrix dodge? He actually got him. You could not give up now, Kung Fury. Come on. All right, now when's the partner going to come in? After Hitler's done uh, dad dancing, I guess, for lack of a better term. <laughs> that is a sentence I don't think anyone thought they'd ever say. <laughs> Literal deus ex machina. Well, I mean, Deus Ex Machina, to be fair, is something that just comes out of nowhere. I mean, well, yeah. but the term Deus comes from God, so... Okay, the... the, 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 the co not correct. The, the proper term refers... It's more of a case, basically, the endgame moment where everyone shows up. Yeah. Man, 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 Avengers Endgame fought. It was the most hype thing ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, I mean, the... it, took oh, Avengers, it took Avengers Endgame 11 years to set all that up. This only took 21 minutes. The term Deus Ex Machina comes from mostly, you know, the Greek classic theaters. The idea of that uh, symbolizing that in a situation, inescapable situation, a literal, uh, like a, a mechanism, usually like a crane, will literally pick up the hero and put it, uh, put them in a better place uh, where they will, could resolve that. Uh, and it will treat it as a, a, a divine intervention, a literal god that is also a machine. I love how Tio's talking about this right as people are getting their limbs and balls blown off. <laughs> <laughs> to quote Helsing of Bridge Dreams, oh, who am I going to offend? The Nazis? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The OG show and the Abridge are both very weird. <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm. you've seen Helsing? Yeah. Sorry. Well, okay, Helsing Not Ultimate. Not in its entirely, no. Helsing Ultimate, the original OVAs we did for Helsing are kind of bad. <laughs> you say that so handsomely, Triceracop. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, dear.
Yeah, we're easy. <gasps> oh no! Cog Fury is dead! But anyways... <laughs> Actually, that animated sequence, because again, this is the 80s. Uh... And with Paws, because mm -hmm. of course. Because uh, I forgot that show. In fact, it was called Supercar, but in English it was called something different. Uh, the one with David Hasselhoff. Uh, I wonder if this is where most of the points are. Thank you. Actually, it's... Uh... No, Pedro is correct. I was referring to Knight Rider. I know, but it's funny you mentioned David Hassel. Uh, yeah. Gee, you didn't tell me this was he, man. No, this is G.I. Joe, the lips. See, there's a cobra. Of course it is. Uh... Oh, bummer. <laughs> 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 but I thought you had it in your batch. Cobra is voiced by Frank Sanderson. <laughs> what? But you're not a police officer anymore. <laughs> All right, we see. The music was done by Mitch Murder. It turns and out it was all years. just a simulation. A test, uh, more than anything. <laughs> yep. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Who I knew a fight between a T-Rex and, and the arms. giant... Who knew a fight between a T-Rex and a bird would be so um, pit pit pitiful? But hey, the T-Rex won. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they made Jurassic Park 3 a better movie. Yeah. Of course. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying everything. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Read the room. <laughs> Ah, yes, you're so like to Hitler. Now, isn't that such a compliment? <laughs> we finish each other's balls. That was Johnny Big Cage's count. move. He You've survived that. And the bird was like, Hitler, no! Hmm. Oh. Yeah, this was all about you getting, you know, to trust your partner. Of course. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's, that's what it was about. <laughs> Wait, what about your other partner? He said he was... Oh, he's dead, so, you know. Oh, you speak. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, if, I, if, I, if, if that's not in Jurassic World Dominion, talking dinosaurs, then that's it. <laughs> sure, why not? I mean, they started... Uh... Actually, has everybody seen the last movie? Yes. Uh, yeah. I, I know enough about it and you guys commented. Let's talk it. about all, all right. that paperwork. All right, so they started cloning children, so uh, everything yeah. else is fine. <laughs> Two days earlier in the future. What time is it? <laughs> There you go. The, 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 the internal computer of Kung Fury's car is actually voiced by David Asseloff. Not only that, David Asseloff even made a song yeah. for this movie, yeah. too. That I think I we're going to hear it in the credits, I think. I forgot exactly where it's placed. But you can also find that on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, in fact, this is, I think this is the song. <laughs> yeah, he's actually part of the song, at least, you know, the the instrumentation. Bogus. This thing and this, sucks. And this is where we came to at the start of the movie. Mm. 
So, you remember how it turns out Hitler had disappeared from time? With the it, eagle. It turns out that the very event that, you know, caused the heroes to go back in time to try and defeat him before doing it is what actually led to him disappearing from time and now the showing up paradox. in the present. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no! Because of course nobody, you know, makes swastikas anymore. Dun dun dun! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's basically a, it ends even on a sequel bait, essentially. Yeah, yeah, that's the song. It's a shame that for years a sequel a wasn't made. Uh, yeah. okay. And also to um to give him credit, David Hasselhoff for being sixty three, um still got a good voice. Oh no, not yeah, he, he's completely rocking this. Uh, again, yeah. I recommend you listening to the song in its, uh, in its entirety. It's really good, uh, True Survivor. Um, but yeah, the sequel has actually been st started in programming after the release of this first movie, but really? it was very it was very slow. Um, it was very slow production, and you know it had still a very small budget, as far as I know. Um, and in 2018, it was starting to coming together, and uh, it was confirmed that at least so far, we know that uh, as guest starring, we are having Michael Fassbender, really? David Hasselhoff returning. Arnold Schwarzenegger is supposedly to have a role as, I think it's labeled as the president, so supposedly he's supposed to be representing the president of the United States, probably. Oh my um, God. And Thor has been requested to be Ralph Muller, which is a, a German actor and bodybuilder. Um, in May 2018, it was also Asa Gonzalez, a part of the cast. Uh, but she exited the, the movie in 2019 replaced, replaced, with a role replaced by Alexander Ship. I don't know much about her. Um, there we go. In, in, in September 25th, 2019, it was uh, wrapped, but the, for the entirety of 2020 and 2021, there were a couple of minor scuffling. Aside from the pandemic, uh, there was the fan event, uh, there was a minor lawsuit uh, with investors, uh, that, I don't know much about it, uh, that apparently essentially just stalled the production. But it seems that at least finally it's supposed to be scheduled around in this to be released in this year in 2022 so we'll have to see how that turns out obviously but uh, so far for this uh, well thoughts that since you have never seen this movie before um what do you think wow that was a trip <laughs> <laughs> i liked it <laughs> it's so over the top and 80s it's great because i actually T it actually embraces it and says, isn't this ridiculous, huh? <laughs> so it gets my respect for that. Aesthetically, it looks great. And the action is pretty cool. Well, and the music is actually cool and great. I need to listen to the whole thing. Yeah, I'm done. I'll um, go next. It's a sure. really good movie. I mean, for something that was kickstarted, they definitely worked within their budget extremely well. But I can't help but wonder what's taking them so long with the sequel. Maybe they're trying to go even a more above and beyond and due to limited budget. We don't know if it's going to be future length or anything. Probably not. If, if I wager between 40 and 60 minutes, uh, if we, for in a sense of we need to the sequel to be a bit longer than this, uh, but they probably don't still have the, bud, the entire budget to, to keep going. I appreciate the fact that they did not ask for another Kickstarter for this, as far as I know, um, because it could have been so easily for better to do that but no as far as i know they did not do that but no, um, like, uh, kung theory is definitely an awesome kickstarter project like well again they did what they came and said that they would do and gave so much extra like even for something as silly as it is it has that right degree of taking itself seriously enough so that it doesn't you know ruin the joke with constant winks to the audience here and there it's just unapologetically awesome, and I love it for it. And here's hoping for that sequel. Pedro? Well, that was an awesome high. Okay, so what so what movie are we watching now? 
<laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wait, you're actually going to try and convince me that what I just saw in front of me happened? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. So there you go. If you if you want to if you want to have a high, but whatever where you live, it's only it's illegal. Here's a good replacement. There you go. Brilliant. Uh, Forty minutes of feeling like you're high. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. No, no, it's uh, it's fun because again, you can tell it's very amateur in its production, but uh, that's expected. And uh, again, they have a lot of fun, and it's just. It, it, it literally is one of those things where you just sit back and you just watch the the randomness and you just and, and you just again, again like I said this is this is like drugs with people without actually taking drugs basically so there you go that's that's not that much of really like there's aside from that there's just mostly random stuff happening so all right leaves uh yeah it was pretty much what it was like the first time um. It's very cheesy, but it definitely captures the vibe of the 80s uh, very well, even if it is a bit exaggerated at points. And um, I'd, 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 I'd got to say, they really they really do a good job at making stuff look cheap, yet um, cool at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was cheap compared to a lot of other stuff, but even, you know, even with a, um, hundred thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars in the budget, but but uh, yeah, overall, it's a very uh, here's a very charming thing, and I'm looking forward to whenever that sequel comes out, if it comes out. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, uh, I guess I'll go next uh, then. Um, again, just as fun as I remember. There is that uh, uh, that minor bit at the beginning uh, where the 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 chief of police drops, uh, you know, there, and you can tell that it was just because it was a product uh, done around the, the mid 2010s. Uh, probably. Um, but again, you can tell that he tries to recapture also the way of the 80s where characters would actually do that. Um, but aside from that, the movie is just fun, you know, pure and simple. Um, it's stupid. It, know it knows it's stupid. It loves being stupid, you know, and loves the time that is homaging, pure and simple. So, uh, gotta love it. And We'll see again if the sequel manages to finally be released, uh, hopefully, and if uh, Kung Fury manages uh, to defeat uh, the Kung Fury. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> okay, that's clever. Uh, this Wonderful. is, um, yeah, I, I did say at the start this was uh, wild, and uh, yeah, now you see why. Uh, it's ridiculous in every way you can imagine. And it's genuinely fun about it. It's uh, it's like Deji said, you know, they're not like trying too hard with, you know, making fun of like that particular error, but like, no, it's like they genuinely wanted to, well, it's genuine, like is, is what it is. Like they, they approach it in just, they're just having fun and you have fun watching it as a result. And I don't think I have anything else to say that everybody else hasn't. So, hey, thank you for joining us uh, for that. Yay. So we'll see. We'll see if the sequel actually happened. Well, I might actually take a look at the game. Who knows how it, how it is? Uh, I'm not promising anything, but we'll see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Bye.